Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you use of if else in TCL programming. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check whether a number is um, greater than 10 or not. So we need to create a variable. So as we have seen in previous tutorial, this is the way to create a variable. Set command is used for that purpose. And now I'm going to write if and here I'm using curly brace. Now here in this curly brace uh, we just need to write condition like dollar uh, a why we are writing dollar a because when we write dollar a this value will be replaced by 10 so let's take this value greater than 10 and now now start body of it so you need to uh, keep in mind that the opening braces for if body will start in the same line so if you will put this braces on the next one it will give you an error and here I am printing a message. A, a is greater than 10. Okay, so let's execute this program. NS my dot TCL. So A is greater than 10. So it's executing successfully. Now let's say this is the case. A is having value 5. So in that case, we also need to write a else part. So we can do that. Same constraint applies here as well. Like opening curly brace for else body will start in the same line, and you need to write write else here. So here I'm going to write UTS a is smaller than ten. So let's our, let's execute our program now. So it's working perfectly. Now. One more thing is that um, instead of writing condition in this manner, you can also use expr command. So here expr dollar a greater than ten. So uh, we have already seen this part that brackets are used when we want to replace output of a command. Uh, replace a command by its output so what this expression will do as you can see dollar a is not greater than 10 so this command will return false so this entire expression including this bracket will be replaced by false and in that case else part will be executed so keep in mind that brackets are used when we want to replace a command by its output so let's execute this so it's working perfectly so this is the way how we can use if as in TCL programming. Thank you very much for watching.